Well, hi, everyone. Several of you reached out to me and asked me to comment on this recent story. I'm recording this on September 25th, 2025. So about three days ago, these uh, images went across social media and generated a lot of concern with many people regarding the safety of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. So I've got a few thoughts about what I know about the situation at this point. So let's just go through it. This is the photo you can see here. You have a pier column that appears to be offset from the pier cap and the pier caps are supporting the girders for the bridge deck. And it looks like there's several inches of offset. So let's go through this terminology again. This is the pier column. This is the pier cap. And these are the girders. And I think the people who posted this picture had a right to be concerned. I mean, I'm starting to say this more and more, but people shouldn't be afraid to use common sense. And it's a bit frustrating when something appears to be out of sorts to a layperson, and then people in positions of authority seem to be somewhat dismissive of those concerns. So, again, I'm going to get to that. Here's another image. This came from a NBC News 4 story. You can see a little bit better. This appears to be several inches of offset of that pier column from the pier cap. So this is the area we're talking about. Uh, reportedly, it's the westbound bridge over the Chesapeake Bay, Chesapeake Bay Bridge. This bridge, let's just show you where it's located in the overall scheme of things. I'm just going to zoom out here. I'm sure many of you on the East Coast are very familiar with this bridge location. The original Chesapeake Bay Bridge was constructed on the south side, which serves now as the eastbound bridge. The westbound bridge, which we're talking about today, was constructed from 1969 to 1973. And the bridge is owned and operated by Maryland Transportation Authority. It's a toll bridge. I'm just going to run this uh, brief news segment for NBC4. Now look, since the Key Bridge collapse up in Baltimore, there has been an intense spotlight cast here on the Bay Bridge when it comes to safety. That's why this photo and these images that we're showing you of this pier are drawing so much attention, so much concern. But Maryland leaders are stressing to the public, both spans of the Bay Bridge are safe. Now the Maryland Transportation Authority sent us this statement saying, MDTA inspected the pier and confirmed that there is no indication of movement or distress at the location. While the image of the pier cap appears off center, the bridge girders, the key structural components supporting the span, are aligned and centered with the pier cap. Importantly, the positioning has not changed since the bridge's construction. So that statement was reportedly sent to NBC4. It's very similar to the statement that MDTA posted on Facebook. And I want to go through a few key items here. So they acknowledge that the pier column appears to be off center from the pier cap. The wording is a little garbled here because it says, while the image of the pier cap appears off center. Well, pier cap seems fine. It's the pier column that appears to be offset from the pier cap. Then they say the bridge girders, the key structural components supporting the span, are aligned and centered with the pier cap. Okay, that seems to be a little bit of uh, inapplicability here. We're talking about the pier column on the pier cap. The girders rest on the pier cap. So for MDTA to emphasize that the pier girders are in alignment, okay, great, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this area here where the pier column more or less horizontally uh, to one side of this pier cap. They never said which span this is, but again, I understand it's to the west of the main span. There was some painting on the column. It said column 69A, so... I tried to do a search to figure out which spans column 69A is located for that pier, and I couldn't find it. And they say MDTA conducts rigorous routine inspections. So they refer to routine inspections there. They indicated that they have recently inspected the bridge or this location of the bridge in light of these images circulating on social media. So let's go through this a little bit more. I want to stress, I'm not saying that this bridge is unsafe. Uh, I am inclined to believe the assurances from NDTAs, particularly if they've involved uh, key engineers on their staff or consulting engineers. However, I think their explanation is, is seriously lacking, and I think more information and more clarification is warranted, and I'm going to tell you specifically what I think that should consist of. Now, I want to emphasize I'm a geotechnical engineer. I'm not a structural engineer, although... My work has focused almost exclusively on bridge projects, 
mostly during construction phases for the last 25 years. So I've worked on hundreds of bridge projects. And also MDTA suggested that this column was like that during original construction, which I find quite odd. I actually, about 15 years ago, there was a train derailment that impacted the uh, pier columns underneath a pier cap, knocked one of the columns. It was very similar to this situation. You had two columns supporting the pier cap. One column was knocked out from under the pier cap and fell to the side. And the other was just hanging on by a few inches. There was just a few inches at the top of the pier column in contact with the pier cap. It was a very scary situation. The contractor had to install uh, shoring towers and then affect uh, construction of the replacement pier columns. So I have seen things like this, but it was related to an impact to the pier columns. And again, since I don't know exactly which span this is, I don't know what the water depth is. But to me, this looks like a situation that could have been created by a vessel impact that moved this pier column uh, to cause this offset at the top where it should be supporting the pier cap in full. So let's go back to this image. So we're talking about this area here where the pier column supports the pier cap. And this is not a typical situation that you would expect to see for a bridge. So I've got a couple of suggestions for local citizens and in particular local media to pursue with MDTA. I think it's appropriate for MDTA to share their results of this recent inspection report with the public. Also show documentation, photos of this peer column from previous inspection reports. Show that at what point was this like this? Was this during original construction or at some point afterwards? Are there indications of vessel impact, any, any damage to the surface of this pier column that appears to be offset from the pier cap. And just come forth with data and not just rely on, oh, everything's fine. Uh, and again, I think some of their statements of, hey, the, the bridge girders are fine. Well, that's not what we're talking about here. So I think they need to do a better job communicating with the public. And again, I'm not saying that there's cause for undue concern here. I just think MDTA needs to do a better job handling this communication and present the data to the public to back up their assertions. So just a quick video on this topic. I'll continue to follow the story. If new developments arise, I'll be sure and do update videos. With that, I want to send a shout out to those of you who've contributed to buy me a coffee. That's one of the better ways to support this channel, along with those of you who are channel members, I want to thank you and certainly those of you who have provided super thanks. Additional great ways to support the channel. So stay tuned for future videos, everyone.